Right, welcome to part two of my Concept Hub video series. This video will focus purely on this end cap system, which I've started to fine tune. Um, in the previous video, I explained that I wanted to make a sort of floating system to deal with um, irregularities in dropouts, which is a really common problem for every frame that's ever been made ever, especially if it's made by Cannondale, you dickheads. So looking here, I have completely remodeled the end of the axle. OK, let's look at the old axle I had in place before. So on the drive side, I haven't modeled this new system yet. The old axle system was just a press on cap here onto a plain tube. All right. This new system is all sophisticated and new. So this part is the same diameter as before. This part has been machined down. We've got a little channel in here and then a bit of a shoulder here. And then this end part is thin and small. So what's going on? So first of all, in this channel, then we have an O-ring. All right. Now, this is a rubber O-ring. Next up, we have this part here, which is the preload adjuster for the bearings. Then we've got this part here, which sits onto the O-ring. And then finally, we've got this part here which screws onto the axle. Um, if I put it in color, green is the bearing preload system. The blue is the rear part of the dropout arrangement. The black part and the pink part is the floating O-ring system. So what I've done is I've split this end cap system into one, two, three, four parts. This part here deals with the preload of the bearings and is completely separate from this blue and black part here. So now this bearing preload system is completely isolated from anything that happens here. So if you do your skewer up as tight as fuck, nothing will happen to the bearing preload. It has no relation to it anymore. So that's the first good thing. Second thing, this is very similar to the extra light system, but I've moved the hex part out of the hub shell here. So it's easier to get to that pink thing is the bearing. And then the green thing is the preload system. You can see, you can see how that works. These two parts here, the blue and the black is where the genius happens. So the blue part just screws directly onto the axle. So let me show you that. Okay, this will screw straight onto the axle. And if you look here, this face here, where my, my mouse is, is concaved. Looking at it like this, you could probably see it a bit better. This is a concaved face. All right, this part here is convexed. So if we move it about, you can see what happens. It is able to slide around. It can do that which means that if your dropout is at a funny angle, doesn't matter because this part will take up the slack or take up the dodgy angle. Nothing will happen to the bearing or axle. And the O-ring, which is inside here, keeps it all in place and is the suspension system for it all. So there, that's how it works. That should give you a bit more of an idea of how it could move about. There you go, there you go. So your dropout could be at any angle really in relation to the axle and it will not affect anything, all right? So that's my idea. This is the original system. So this obviously gets deformed by any, any dodgy dropouts. This here can move about, all right? We can move about at any angle as well, there you go. So what I'll do is next, I'll put this system on here and then that's the dropouts dealt with, all right?